Welcome everybody to the 2019 Terraria NPC Olympics. We have eight Terraria NPCs all ready to compete for a house made out of pure gold. I know what a reward to have. And also they don't have to pay taxes. I don't think NPCs pay taxes unless they're forced to by the tax collector NPC. So whatever. Let's go ahead and talk about the four events that are in these NPC Olympics. We have our first event right here where NPCs will be going going up against monsters and seeing how long they can last. This event is known as the endurance test. Moving on to our second event, also known as music list chairs. We have our NPCs choosing which chair they're gonna sit on and see if that chair is the correct one. And if it's not the correct one, well, they go boom. Moving on to our third event here, the NPC races, also known as Terraria cart, but there's not really any carts. In this event, the NPCs are gonna take turns on each track and racing each other seeing who can make it to the end first and for our fourth and final event we have the NPCs going up against each other 1v1 smash bros type deal this event is also known as smashing my bros no homo so let us go ahead and meet our eight NPCs that have qualified for the NPC Olympics starting with the grandma NPC from the furniture food and fun mod the next NPC is the Clothier NPC. The next NPC after that is the Chef NPC from the Thorium mod. We have the Tracker who is also from the Thorium mod. We have the Cyborg NPC. We have the Guide. We have Santa Claus. And last but not least, we have Rattles Magoo, the Skeleton Merchant. All right, so let's go ahead and start our first event here, the Endurance Test. The NPCs are gonna be going against three stages of monsters, starting with the first one, which is Undead Miners, then the the second stage which is the ancient chargers from the thorium mod and then the last stage the nymph all right so let's go ahead let's get to it grandma is our first npc here let's do it all these npcs are going to be going against three undead miners and then the next round they're going to be going against two ancient chargers and then either we'll do one or two nymphs whatever i'm feeling if the npcs are doing really good then we'll probably do more than one nymph because i feel like one nymph might be a little, a little too weak for some npcs because some npcs statistically are stronger than others in terms of how much damage they do but congratulations to grandma she's moving on to the second round of the endurance test all right let's go ahead and see what type of damage the clothier can do now the clothier has very good attacks he can pierce enemies as you can see and he also inflicts shadow flame which is very very strong i know some npc attacks a change depending on your progression in the game and uh, i think the clothier might be one of them i'm not sure about that though moving on to our next npc here the chef npc who is a very dominant force in terms of offense as you can see very very straight projectiles and on top of that they are very very strong projectiles all right moving on to our first and only melee npc that i believe so he might have some troubles with either this specific event oh he's showing that this event is no problem when we get to the smashing my bros event i don't know man a lot of the other npcs are projectile based so he might get screwed over in the later rounds next up we have the cyborg which is a very strong npc because he is a post plantera i believe npc and uh, he's got a lot of good attacks he has two different attacks a straight missile he shoots out and then a sort of proximity mine and he's a very strong competitor as we can see he's using the area to his advantage getting as far away as he can because i forgot to close the gate so you know he was able to sneak his way in there let's see if the guide can also continue this streak of making it to the next round he is a little bit weaker than some of the other npcs but he has shown that he he is a dominant force at least when it comes to battling other npcs and there i go again forgetting to close the gate so that they can't wander deep in here the guy taking some major damage though he better watch out he really has to focus his fire on the ones on the left and he does the guy making smart decisions and he's moving on to the next round it's not christmas but let's see if santa claus can still ho 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 his way to the npc olympic finals santa claus not looking too hot so far might be our first loser in the endurance test round and Unless he finds his way out of this very smart decision that he went that direction but he has to put up some shots you need to attack santa 
and there you go santa claus taking the eighth place on the list now if it wasn't mentioned before if i don't insert a little clip about me talking about the point system we have a point system instead of uh whoever wins win system and what i mean is have you guys ever played mario kart in mario kart there's a little point system if you get last place you get a very little amount of points but say you get last place and then in the next three races you get first place you have a very high chance to win so i'm giving all my npcs a fair chance so if they do bad in one of the events and then they do good in the last three events then they have a chance to take it home so if you get eighth place in this event you do only get one point if you get first place in event you do get eight points so that's the point system if it hasn't been mentioned already but yeah let's go ahead and continue i would also like to note if any npcs do tie they will just end up with the same amount of points and uh, let's go ahead and see here if rattles can make it past this i know rattles is not the strongest in most areas uh pretty much all of them besides rng i guess but uh let's see i don't know maybe he'll change it up and just go insane and just take out all of these skeletons oh that one bone he threw right there was a little off and that might ruin his chances of success but rattles showing that he is a new man and he is ready to take over the npc olympics but let's see here let's see if he's got to take out this last these last two skeletons he's doing really good he's doing really good one more skeleton get in awfully close there and rattles moves on to the second round all right so we're gonna do three ancient chargers because that's what i did in the original video i think i said two ancient chargers earlier but we're gonna do three boom boom let's do it round two mostly everybody made it here but santa claus that really sucks but santa claus can always make it up in the next event now if you are a slower projectile shooter and if you just miss much like grandma did right there then you might have problems with this event because this is really an endurance and, and speed test in the second round but grandma oh poor grandma she does not make it all right moving on to the next npc which is the claudier like i said claudier he's a great npc with those piercing attacks but can he handle the speed of the chargers that shadow flame taking out one of the chargers and it might take out the other one nah the claudier said i'm gonna finish him myself not the shadow flames now this npc is called the cook npc and not the chef i keep calling them the chef i mean they're pretty similar i think but i don't expect them to even have a problem yep he finished that in like a good 15 seconds the tracker npc another npc i don't expect to have too many problems with his melee is very good for crowd control but i don't know he's taking some hits early oh he's showing that he can definitely take this on whether or not he's using projectiles or melee good job tracker next up we got the cyborg hopefully he does this i'm i hope i wish all the best for these npcs honestly so that's why i'm trying to give them some positive reinforcement and i just hope they make it to the next round because it wouldn't be that interesting if if they didn't make it to the later rounds but at the same time you know we need npcs to lose and some to win so that it's a little bit more evened out but congratulations to the cyborg he's moving on to the final round all right go ahead guide i'm getting a bunch of weather events terraria is being really annoying i had a sandstorm and then i had rain like 30 seconds after that i don't know why it just really wants to put some weather down but i'm not allowing that so you might see my uh, piggy bank in the video i don't know you could probably see it floating the guide is not doing too hot not doing too hot the guide gets eliminated he is not going to the third and final round all right rattles is our final competitor here because santa did get eliminated in the first round so let's hope that rattles can make it to the third and final round he's not shooting off shots fast enough though he really needs to start shooting off more shots oh and he missed one of those that might be the end for rattles in this first event because of that miss and because of the lack of shots he's shooting come on rattles he didn't even shoot on that oh he's shooting too late now it might be too late unless he takes that one out on the right oh man oh good damage he's spreading out there he needs to take out the one on the left that that oh he has a chance he needs to shoot off shots quick though he had a chance and he fumbled just like usual never change rattles never change we are on the third and final round of the first event and we only have four npcs so let's see who makes it and who gets the points starting with the clothier let's do it two nymphs versus one npc the nymphs are definitely tough enemies so i can see this going terribly wrong for most of the npcs especially the clothier who was very dominant in the first half but the nymphs do not mess around maybe none of the npcs will make it out of this third round i don't remember which npcs did make it out of the third round i think actually it was the chef and the tracker npc so i take my words back already because as you can see the chef and we're about to see the tracker have a very dominant performance all right go ahead tracker show them that no matter what type of weapon you have you can dominate the olympics as long as you have the soul to do it that's 
the spirit, the soul, whatever. He has all of it because he just dominated that. All right, Cyborg, let's see what he can do. I don't think he was in this event. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he wasn't in this event uh, in the original video, the contention rounds. So let's see how well he does here. He's not doing too hot. He took like three, four hits to that one nymph, and that might be the end because of those hits. Unless, oh man, he made it really close as the Cyborg does. The Cyborg is a very good competitor, and he always makes it close when he can. So that ends our first event. The points will pop up on the screen here we had a lot of ties so the scoring might be a little bit weird for this first round because a lot of people lost in the same area but santa claus got last so he gets one point all right so here we are with the music list chairs let's go ahead and hop in because this video is going to take an extremely long time to edit and extremely long time to just record it might be a long video too and i'm all doing it in the same day i'm uploading it so let's do it so if you guys don't know how music list chairs works what happens is there is one track at least for the first round there is one hole slash track filled with mines at the bottom and it is up to the npc to go and sit somewhere where the mines are not and the grandma decides to sit in the silver hole sit on the silver chairs and uh, let's see if she's going to the next round oh. she she's not she's not going to the next round sadly so as we get deeper and deeper into the rounds in this event more holes are filled up with more mines meaning that there's only like a one in four chance if you get to the third round one hole will not have bombs the other three holes will have bombs i don't know if the math is right there but starting for this first round there's only one hole with bombs so the odds of the NBC making it to the next round is very very high except for grandma obviously let's hope the clothier sits down and he sits down on the copper track and i'm very sorry clothier you are moving on to the next round. I was just joking. Haha. <laughs> All right, Cook, go ahead and show that you have the smarts to sit in the correct chair. Copper? He's going for the copper chairs? There we go. He went for the copper chairs. And luckily for the chef NPC, he is safe and moving on to the... What the hell are you standing on? He is moving on to the next round. Moving on to the tracker here. Let's see where he sits. I already forgot where I put the bombs. I put them somewhere. Very sneaky. So sneaky that I even forgot where I put them. There we go. He finally sat down in the chair. I was starting to think that the tracker didn't sit down but he sat in the chlorified chair and he is safe good for him all right cyborg please sit down fast unlike the tracker i removed some chairs here so hopefully that doesn't mess up anything but they won't fall in on those further out chairs i'm not sure if the direction of the chair matters either nope it does not cyborg did you make it to the next round or not and sadly the cyborg did not make it all right guys let's do it come on rapido let's do this fast is that how you say fast in spanish Ra rapido I, I hope it is because if not i'm gonna sound dumb gold chair it is and guide congratulations you're moving on to the next round that silver chair that silver chair is deadly you better watch out all right santa santa got a second place on the chair oh he sat down on the silver chair right away congratulations santa you're going to the second round already just like that that's what we need more npcs to act like that fast is so beautiful now in the the original a video for this event rattles did indeed win this event he beat every single round and let's see if he could repeat it you know this is the event that he is the strongest at and the one that kind of requires the least amount of skill but at the same time that's pretty impressive the least amount of skill and you won it like that's, that's not bad and he goes with the chlorophyte chair let's see if rattles is correct and let's see if he'll let down all his fans and he is correct very very close though to sitting on that gold one he passed by it once or twice good job rattles we are here in the second round there's two holes now filled with mines so the chances of the npc sitting on the correct chair is a lot lower now but let's see if the npcs can do it and move on to the third and final round the claw of the air chooses the golden chair and let's see if he's moving on to the third and final round sadly he is not bye bye claw of the air let's see if the cook can cook up a good option for which chair to sit in you like that that was a good joke huh but let's see if the cook makes the right decision he's going for the copper chair and cook i'm so sorry but you're not moving on to the third and final round your music list chairs ends here what the fuck ends here what is he standing on your music list chairs ends here all right, let's see if the tracker can track down the right decision. You guys like these jokes, huh? These are good. All right, he finally sat down. I straight up read a whole book while I was waiting. Tracker, I hope you don't make it to the next round, but honestly, you took so long, I forgot where I put the mines. Oh, 
I put one right there. Oh, that's too bad, isn't it? All right, guys, let's see if he can guide himself to the correct chair. Just sit down right there. It's bro, sit down right there. I swear it would be the smartest decision of your life. There we go. Guide, congratulations. You're going to the third and final round. All right, let's see if Santa pulls what he did in the first round and sat down instantly. No, he's going to make it a little bit longer this time, but maybe that's for the better. Maybe the silver one. Oh, Santa, I'm very sorry. You probably should have took your time because <laughs> you are not going to that third round. All right, Rattles. Let's see if you can repeat of the last time you do this. Let's see if he can just make it to that third and final round and win. He goes for the silver track. Rattles, are you going to the third and final round? Let's see. I'm sorry, Rattles. You're not repeating this time. It seems that the guide is the only one to make it to the third and final round, unless I did a miscalculation or I misjudged something. Congratulations, guide. You don't have to do the third round because you're the only one that made it. You don't have to do it. You automatically get the eight points. Here are the points that are going to pop up on the screen for this round. So here we are with the third event, the NPC races, also known as Terraria Kart is what I think I called it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the top two of the first and second race, and then the top two are going to go into the third and final race just for the sake of time because originally i was gonna do like four races per a, a group but that might take too long so we're gonna do the top two so let's go ahead let's do it we got the clothier the cook grandma and the tracker let us begin the npc races three two one go now all of these tracks have been tested and uh, if you've seen the previous ones you will notice that the bottom track is different and the bottom track is more than doable npcs have done it a bunch of times during testing but are they gonna do it during the actual race itself i don't know we'll see we will see i gotta be ready to you know throw the npc out if they win and uh, turn off their fireworks at the end if they win but grandma as shown last time when she was doing the races that she is fast as hell and she can compete there you go grandma has finished first but there's still one more spot open as you can see the cook barely has moved the claw of the air moved a bit and the tracker npc about to complete that bottom track who's gonna make it to the end the claw of the air and the tracker both very very close to the end all the claw of the air has to do is jump over this hurdle and he does it and now it's just a beeline to the end oh he's doing a little dancing he's going to the end and there we go the grandma and the claw of the air npc are going to the final round which is very similar to that race video because the claw of the air and the grandma both are from that video and they're here in the npc olympics and they're going to the third and final round all right here we are with our second heat is that what they say in racing heat i don't know we have the guide cyborg santa and rattles let's do it three two one begin the race Ooh, i should probably should keep that on but yeah i i don't know who's gonna win this time i don't remember any of these competitors competing besides rattles and uh i don't think rattles did good did rattles compete in that race i'm not actually sure because i think the npc racing was the first video wasn't it? yeah rattles did compete in that race and uh that's when you know he got thrown back to the beginning but we don't talk about that because he's had his redemption arc santa claus being our first npc to make it to the end santa claus he's been kind of upsetting in terms of uh the other events but he is showing off here and taking that first spot here but the question is who's gonna take the next spot come on rattles rattles is just he might have just given up on this because the cyborg looks like he's going to the end the cyborg dipping himself in some water you may think that's not too good for his body because he does have some electrical components on there some nanotech technology but uh he's doing perfectly fine he's right there in that final stretch will he do it though i think the cyborg is taking it congratulations to the cyborg no congratulations to the guide or rattles all right so here we go we got our final heat we have santa grandma cyborg and the claw of the air who is gonna take the first place spot and get eight points and who's gonna take the other three spots and get whatever points they get let's see three two one you may begin your race the claw of the air having a bad start so far kind of going backwards there and grandma she is so dominant in the races i don't know what's up with her she's the one you least expect to be zooming through the race but she's showing that she is a fierce competitor when it comes to racing she might get the eight points right here look at her just beelining to the end and she takes it she takes first place let's see who's gonna take second third and fourth we're gonna everyone has to finish here so i can give everyone the appropriate points the cyborg taking the next spot we have some movement here finally i legit been sitting here for five minutes they've been walking to the left for god knows how long i just said five minutes but congratulations to the air santa claus i guess congratulations you didn't get last place so fourth place
place is not bad here are the points popping up on the screen for that round all right here we are with the fourth and final event hopefully you can't hear the leaf blowing slash lawn mowing going on outside hopefully the background music will go over it but yeah here we are the fourth final event we're gonna have all the npcs fight each other best of three so whoever wins two wins let's do it we got grandma versus rattles and let's see which one is the cream of the crop i don't know if that saying goes here rattles versus grandma grandma starting off by throwing a little ball over rattles misses completely and i've noticed something with npcs that go against again that go against rattles is rattles ai goes really stupid let's see if he can pull out the win here he's got her near the edge but rattles health is getting awfully low rattles if you just throw one or two there we go rattles very very close to death showing that he can pull this out all right here we are with the second round of the first matchup let's begin hop straight into it rattles and grandma grandma and rattles max and ruby let's see who wins rattles going straight to the edge and not doing much other than just standing there so this is a very boring first round besides actually now that i mean first match that first round was actually pretty exciting rattles gets a little taste of his own medicine there all right the third and final round winner takes all rattles versus grandma grandma starting off strong rattles actually moving and attacking grandma going to the corner not a smart thing to do but for some reason npcs like to do that rattles going insane for a second there spinning back and forth he may have just lost his cool but she's one hit i think from the edge from getting knocked off the edge and rattles moves on to the next round all right we got our next round here the claudia versus santa let us begin santa not the greatest com combatant in terms of attacking and offense but i don't know maybe he'll pull something out i doubt it because he can't even reach claudia but claudia can definitely reach him claudia does like zero damage he's doing 20 a hit which is very very odd oh 34 maybe the closer he gets the more damage he'll do or he'll just knock him into the lava you know i guess that works this is gonna seem like a fast round if the claudier was that dominant in the first round oh missing with his first shot missing with his second shot someone has to hit eventually and it's not going to be santa claus so the claudier is just going to take this round because he's just going to wither him down or knock him off whatever he decides is the best fate for santa claus i'm sorry santa you're not giving out presents this year man you're not giving out presents and it's sad to see you go but it happens we have a very tough matchup here for the guide going against the chef one of the strongest npcs that i've seen well obviously the stronger but but he is a very strong NPC offensively with those insanely quick plates that he be throwing. Look at that. Oh my God. He hit himself though. NPCs can do that where they hit themselves if they don't throw it at the right angle. And the guide taking a surprising first round away from the cook. You love to see it? Question mark. Now, I believe why NPCs, they hit, they hit themselves with their own projectiles when you have the NPC combat mod enabled is because their projectiles start too far on one side. And when they drag them across to the other side, they just get hit by it. As you can see, the chef having a great start, but then he's just bombarding himself with his own plates. And the guide finishes him off again with the last shot. So we have a pretty unfair matchup here. We got the tracker who is a melee NPC versus the cyborg who is a projectile based NPC. Now, you hate to see this matchup. It's not that fair, but it's also, you know, not my fault that other melee NPCs did not make it this far. And uh, let's just see who takes the W. I obviously have high hopes that it's gonna be the cyborg, but you never know. It all right it's looking like it's gonna be an upset all right here we go round two of the last match of the first set of rounds and uh, let's see if the tracker will even get a chance to touch the cyborg and it's looking like a no the cyborg just has too much firepower oh wait oh wait oh wait the tracker has a chance the cyborg missed he's missing how is he missing they're going right through him is there some ai but oh my god i have no idea what just happened but that was insane all right let's keep in mind that the cyborg did win the original video and he dominated that original video the tracker npc after that amazing comeback he had in that second round to go out and lose like that that's that's pretty sad to see congratulations to the cyborg though all right we're moving on to our second set of rounds here we have the clothier versus rattles let's see who wins both of these competitors they're okay i wouldn't say that they're the strongest as you can see rattles definitely showing he's not the strongest but rattles did have a pretty amazing first round and the claw of the air had kind of an easy path he just kind of knocked off santa claus every single time because santa claus is not that good he's got no range but let's see who takes this out let's see who takes the 
be here. Both of these two are very evenly matched damage wise. Rattles, whenever he wants to throw out bones, he's really strong, kind of. He does like 30 damage. But same thing with the Clothier. He does 25, 30 if he gets closer. But it's looking like an endurance test, and Rattles was not able to endure that test. All right, moving on to the second round here. Let's see who's going to take it. Clothier can take it all home right here. Rattles not playing too smart, man. Not playing too smart. He's just, he's teetering on the edge. His toes are on the edge. One toe and he's gone just like that. You know, if the chef didn't kill himself, we would have had a pretty crazy matchup with the chef and the cyborg. But we have a rematch of the original video finals. The cyborg versus the guide. Let's see who's going to take it. This is a very interesting matchup. The guide already not playing too smart. He's playing ranged and he's getting knocked the hell out of here. This event is definitely showing how strong the cyborg is when it comes to combat. But he didn't do too good in the monster event the npcs versus monster event or the what i call it the endurance test and the guide not playing is smart man he did take around in the original video because he played really smart but this time it does not seem like he's gonna take it here we are the final round winner takes all best out of three still best out of two I don't, I don't know but we've seen that it is possible to beat the cyborg you just have to close that gap so let's see if the clothier will close the gap or if you'll play the long game and the long game has not worked for any other npc when it comes to going against the cyborg but let's see let's see oh no that long game ain't working you gotta get a little bit closer man oh he, the long game, oh, we walking straight into it though. Come on. He, he started, oh my God. We got our first, maybe not our first, but we have an on-platform kill, which is very rare to see. Watch out, walked into his own bomb. So if you guys don't know, with the NPC combat mod, which is the mod that, you know, allows NPCs to fight each other, there is a config setting that you can mess around with where you can change all their defenses to be the same. You can change all their health to be the same. For example, I made all of their health 300. That even includes NPCs from the Calamity mod and the NPCs from the Calamity Calamity mod have like 10k health so i made sure that they all have the same damage the same health the same defense so if you think about it it really just depends on how the npc attacks and stuff like that there's not really any unfairness in terms of damage because they all do around the same damage but yeah let's go ahead let's see if the cyborg is going to take it all or if the clothier is going to put up a fight he was playing the long game, which I don't recommend against the cyborg, but he was playing it very well until he walked into the bombs and we have an upset kind of not really. I definitely expected the cyborg to take it all because he has proven that he is a great NPC. He is a great fighting NPC when it comes to fighting other NPCs and not fighting enemies. But congratulations to the cyborg. He's going to take the first place in the fourth and final event. The points for this round are going to be popping up on the screen right now. And uh, we're going to go add them all up and see who has won the golden house so here is our beautiful golden home now you may notice that there's two beds inside of this golden home that's because the clothier and the cyborg both tied with 22 points in the npc olympics so they are co gold medalists but in this case gold house list i don't know but congratulations to these two npcs and that will mark the end of the 2019 npc olympics but 2020 is right around the corner and and you know we might do them at the start of 2020 we got a lot of more npcs that want to compete we're gonna see a lot of new faces and maybe some old faces in there but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the npc olympics video this is really fun to make and really fun to build up to like i said we'll probably do one every year maybe we'll do one every like maybe we'll do two a year maybe something like that i don't know because you know we gotta do the contention events and then we gotta do the olympics itself thank you everyone for watching the video make sure to hit the sub button if you aren't sub and make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it also make sure to follow my twitch twitter and be on my discord also sub to my second youtube channel vod raiders 101 thank you again everybody for watching thank you for 100k subs because this is the 100k sub special i, I love i love you guys bye bye